Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm the lead biotechnologist at Biome, uh, a company in London that uh, makes biomaterials. I'm mostly working on the plastic degrading fungi experiment that we're running at the moment. So we're trying to engineer fungi to degrade various different types of plastic to make it a viable way of dealing with our plastic waste problem. So this plastic is PET. So this is uh, typically what you would find uh, in, as a water bottle, Tupperwares. Um, it's uh, used in a lot of one-time use products, which makes it very problematic, which is one of the reasons that we're focusing on this family of plastics. So we found our mycelium escaping, uh, very slowly escaping from one of the jars that they were growing in they managed to actually consume the plastic sponge that was sealing the jar and pop out, um, which was very exciting to see uh, because we didn't realize that the mycelium that we work with here actually had some propensity for degrading plastic. And that's how the whole plastic project got started. Right now, we've got lots of different experiments going on. Uh, we've got some directed evolution experiments going on. So we've removed any uh, other food source or carbon source. Um, so the mycelium are kind of forced to grow on plastic and improve their ability to degrade plastic in that way. Uh, we also have a plastic sequestration experiment. So that's uh, tracking how quickly our mycelium can clear a certain medium or a certain liquid um, of microplastics that we've measured from the start. There's different degrees of coverage you can see. So this one, you can see the piece of plastic quite clearly. Um, this one, uh, it's completely covered the plastic. You can just vaguely see the outline of where it is. Um, this one here is a very uh, fluffy strain and it has also, you can see it kind of encroaching around and has really clung onto the edges or any um, kind of rough sides that are available for it to hold onto. Uh, that's the other thing about these plastics is they're quite difficult for them to grab onto because they're so smooth and crystalline. There's nothing, uh, yeah, it, it's a difficult thing for them to degrade. So we give them a lot of time. The nice thing about these projects is there's not really one end goal. It's limitless where this can be applied. Obviously, plastic waste is a massive issue all over the world in uh, land, sea, air, wherever you are, it's a problem. So uh, the loads of different ways it can be applied uh, in the world in that way. Um, also for making materials, so turning plastic waste into a resource, turning this bad, horrible thing into something that has value. Um, that's also another thing that we're really excited about using uh, these mycelium for.